Okay, in this example, uh, we're talking about this is r, our correlation coefficient, and we know that rho, Greek letters typically stand for the population, and we can never find rho actually because it's so rare, or almost never find rho because it's so rare for us to find the actual population. So we obtain an unbiased estimator, estimator for this, which we call r. This is what our calculator produces. And here's the formula from the formula booklet as such. This is more practical when we have actually statistics and numbers to deal with, as opposed to proofs. So calculate R for this data set shown. Well, I need a whole bunch of information. So I'm going to come over to my calculator, and I'm going to go to my statistics. And you'll see I've already added my values in here. This is x bar, y bar. To find all these bits and pieces, if I go stat calculate, I'm going to do two variable statistics. I have it already in my list entered. And so when I get this, I get x bar is 17.22. I also need the summation of x squares, which is 2020.21. 20, if I, I also need the fact that n equals 5. Scrolling down, I can see some more information. I know that y bar is equal to 91.6. The summation of y squares are equal to 587.59.62. And if I go down, this is an important one because I need that summation. The summation of xy is going to be 10835.13. So now I am ready to go. I'm just going to plug all these values into my formula. And when I do so, let me move this over a little bit, make some space. Oh. So R will be 10835.13 minus 5 times x bar y bar, 17.22 times 91.6. And this is going to be divided by the x squared sum, 20.21 20, minus 5 times 17.22 squared times 58759.62, which is the y squared, minus 5 times the 96, or sorry, the 91.6 squared. And when I do that big giant calculation, it ends up being 2948 over 37 over 3005.795, which is to three significant or many more significant figures. R is equal to 0 0.98089. And so this is how the numbers work. If you look at your calculator, if I want to do a calculation for linear regression, number four, I put all this information in here. And when I do my linear regression, I get a, b. But if this is the case, I didn't get r value. If this happens, you have to make sure your mode has, look, go to mode, see how it says next? Well, down low, we have to make sure our statistics diagnostic is turned on. So now, when we do that calculation for linear regression, we get our R value here, and we can see that R is indeed correct. And so that is how R is calculated.